Over 500 recipes are in the cookbook, KCTS 9 Cooks at home, and then of course the DVD of basically the program you're watching right now. How do you pick a recipe to put on TV? It's at random because they're all so mouth-watering. This one is going to be fun. Julian Mueller from Seattle bringing us a recipe for what he calls a Sicilian cauliflower pasta. Julian, I just get excited when we bring them in in the kitchen and have some fun. And really? you look like you. I wouldn't pick you as somebody who would have a great <laughs> recipe and willing to go on TV. But I, I, here you I, are. I love cooking. It's one of my favorite things. Ever since I've retired, I've tried to build a pretty big recipe book, and this is one of my favorite recipes. Okay. Uh, this is this is a recipe I got early in my cooking career, about 35 years ago, when a friend of mine's mother or grandmother actually mm -hmm. uh, made this dish and. I liked it, and I asked her for the recipe, and of course she didn't have any recipes, she never wrote anything down. So I watched her make it, made my own notes, and I've been making it ever since. The recipe involves Sicilian style ingredients. Uh, you have <clears throat> currants, pine nuts, mm -hmm. anchovies, and saffron. And knowing that the Sicilian kitchen was strongly influenced by an Arab presence in Sicily between 975 and about 100 years. So the saffron comes from the, the Arab cooking and uh, the other ingredients are sweet ingredients such as the currants are unusual in Italian food and really enhance the recipe. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the anchovy fillets and we're going to mash them in. Okay. We're going to mash them in with the onions and garlic and they will disappear in there. Uh, you will never have a distinct saffron, or a distinct uh, anchovy flavor to the dish because the anchovies will permeate yeah, put the in. entire dish. Please do. Just put it in there. And I feel like you're talking to me like, Mark, don't worry about the taste. You're going to love it. We're going to make it all work. Don't <laughs> so make it happen and, here. Here okay. we go. <laughs> um, and so Carol's going to mash that up and it will just melt into the, to the dish. Okay. Then we're going to add some tomato pulp. And we'll do that now. Okay. Hot burner over here on okay. this pan or medium heat? Where are we at for heat? Yeah, I would think medium. About medium? Okay. All you're doing is really warming things. This has all been park cooked. Okay. Next thing we have to do is we have to make the saffron usable. When you buy saffron, mm -hmm. it's very, very expensive. I can uh, tell. Look at the gift wrap and the bow and the I, nice I, special case. There. The saffron is the stamen of a saffron crocus. And so all of the individual threads or stamens are picked uh -huh. individually. And so it's very, very labor intensive. About 90% of the world's saffron comes from Iran. Oh, wow. And this Iranian saffron, we're just going to take a pinch, a real pinch, put it in a mortar and pestle, mm -hmm. and we're going to grind it up a little bit. Do I need to put Break this in down. the safe? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Lock and key. That's gold. And then we're going to dissolve it mm -hmm. in a little of the pasta water. So you can see the hot, color. Right? Pardon? The water's hot. Yes. It's water that, that we've extracted right. from the cooking Cook pasta. The pasta. Okay. Now you can see the color, the, the intense color of saffron. And we're going to put that in. And just so we don't waste this rather expensive ingredient, we're going to rinse out the mortar and pestle. What's the price tag on that? You, saffron, I looked it up yeah. recently, mm -hmm. and saffron runs anywhere from $80 an ounce to $200 Whoa. an ounce. Whoa! Yeah. But you use very little. I right. Mean, I think I originally bought half an ounce, mm -hmm. and I make uh, a risotto with this as well, mm -hmm. and I've had it for about a year, and it lasts quite well. Okay. Now we have to get ready to, to do the cauliflower. With the cauliflower, what I do is I take the head of cauliflower and I core it. Mm -hmm. I just run a carving knife or a chef knife around the core right and remove it. That camera right there. Then I I pull it off or cut off okay, put it the the big pieces mm -hmm. uh, and I cook those for roughly three or four minutes in boiling water. Mm -hmm. When they're finished, I can break them down into they smaller right pieces. Apart. They come right apart into tiny pieces, which is what you want for this dish. Mm, Oops. Beautiful. You're okay. We're at home. 
so we don't need to do any more than that. Just now, sure. Carol, could you incorporate this right into the sauce? Into the sauce. Yeah, you know, I said at the beginning of our program, our uh, viewers we brought in with the recipes. Now, just they have the gift of gab. If you notice, they know their food and recipe, and this is just so yeah. much yeah. learning, yeah. exploring. Informing public television at its greatest here with KCTS Nine Cooks. See, I gave you a chance to breathe there. Okay, <laughs> thank you. That's important. I, appreciate I was that worried you weren't getting enough air. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what goes in next? Now we're going to put. This is a combination of uh, toasted pine nuts and currants. Okay. And so we're going to put those in. And Julian, where's home for you in Seattle? Home. What neighborhood? I live in West Seattle. West Seattle. So with the construction that's been going on, a little bit of delay, you've got some <laughs> extra time to play around in the kitchen. <laughs> well, it keeps him busy. Yeah, this is good. This I'll is stay in the kitchen. Here. Okay, so now what happens? Now the next thing we do is we're going to add cheese and serve. All right. So uh, do you want to, uh, we can, yeah, well, let's incorporate let's the cheese. how you do it at home. Yeah, we're going to incorporate the cheese. So. Are we cooking for anybody at home on a regular basis? No, I'm, I'm uh, unfortunately a widower. Okay, but you have a lot of friends, I'm sure. Uh, I have a lot of people who want to come over and eat my cauliflower well, pasta. <laughs> I think you're making some new friends here right away. <laughs> I think so. That'd be great. Wouldn't you love to have a neighbor like Julian next door? <laughs> I'm cooking up some things. I'm bored. Whoops. Who wants to eat? Come on over. Okay, you can just incorporate that. All right. And we will then be ready to serve. Okay. This came together real What's quick. What's next? Yeah. I mean, there, there's, there's, there's no big effort here? here. Just mix it all yes, together. Yes, you can put the pasta in there. And make it okay, happen. Okay, so here's our pasta. It's the same cauliflower pasta is what we're doing here. With right, and, and the easy way Julie. to incorporate that will be with... Now, is there a reason for this recipe in your world? No meat, no fish. I, well, it does have fish. It has the anchovy. I was just making sure. You and it's that. it's not it's not <laughs> vegan because not only does it have the anchovy, anchovy, it has the cheese as well. Okay. So, um, but it is basically a vegetarian dish. I, my oldest son mm -hmm. has been vegetarian for many years. Okay. But he does eat fish, so he will eat this dish. Okay. So I'll point for, that out, people, if you want to get the the cookbook here, I mean, here's one of those dishes. You always wonder what what about. Well, it's good if people who have vegetarian friends who are okay with fish yeah. can do this dish, and it's a very nice main. So we can yeah. put that on, on the okay. plate. Okay. And we can, we can let everybody have a taste. I've looked up an appetite here, so I'm anxious to try this one. Trying to get some of that yummy cauliflower from the bottom. I think that if you make the cauliflower florets smaller, mm -hmm. they're easier to disperse through the dish. Okay. Now that's what Carol's going to eat. <laughs> Keep going. Are you going to have the whole I'll thing? The pan. <laughs> there you go. There we go. <laughs> Here we are. You ready? All right. So I'm grabbing the cauliflower. All right. All right, spaghetti. Oh, look at you. Oh, we got to roll it up and be dainty. I'm going to eat it like I would well, if I lived in West She's Seattle. a lady. What right? do you want? Right. I lived in Italy for two years. I learned to eat pasta. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 <laughs> He's coming over for dinner, mm. folks. Want to move to Magnolia? You're going to have to make it. You're going to have to because there won't be any left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All in the cookbook uh, and here on the DVD is a thank you gift for your support so we can do more cooking with great viewers like you and like Julian. Thanks for coming in all the way from West Seattle. Thank you very much. This is Outs marvelous. Danning the Sicilian cauliflower oil pasta. 1-800-443-1999. Call now. We've got the volunteers here to help you out with a cookbook as a thank you gift. Also online at kcts9.org. Good cooking. Oh, mm.